soñado Sabrosa y tan dulce como un mango Una chica de Bahía con milagros Cantita bien caro La bella, brasilera canta a capela Dime en portugués todo lo que quieras Yo te llego en cualquier manera Semi automatic Shoot my shot and burst until I had it Fuck a drama, she was cinematic Speak to me in tongues like a fanatic Hello from Tenerife in the Canary What? Islands. This is day one of a week-long catamaran adventure. I'm here with three girlfriends. This is the first spot that we ended up today. It's insanely gorgeous. What a great way to start off the week. We went for a swim and super clear water. This volcanic geography is so mind-blowing. And yeah, loving every moment so far. We got Leah right here and Maddie. You guys are all wearing purple. Was that planned? <laughs> Babes in purple. Babes. Yeah. But yes, we are loving it in Tenerife so far. Just started. Tenerife or Tenerife? I think it's Tenerife if you have a Spanish accent. Tenerife. <laughs> but I think if you're like a gringo howly, it's just Tenerife. 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 How come all the Brits say Tenerife? <laughs> My first sangria in Spain. Spain before? Nope. Really? Oh my god, that's fire. I need to introduce the squad. Squad. This is the squad. We've got Rose here and then Leah and Hi. Maddie. Hello. We're all just enjoying our lovely sangria. Living our best Tenerife. European summer. We are. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Salute. And that's Aaron's third glass of sangria. Aaron <laughs> is tipsy. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not. I swear. I swear. I'm not. <laughs> this is so good, though. Oh my god. Anyway, why is it so good? Like, it doesn't I, really I taste that alcoholic. The fruit? Because of the location and the fruit and everything, it's just right. Everything is right. like that, that was Everything's good. 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 Just vibes. It'd be shit if we weren't here. I know. Anyway, this is a great way to start off our one week long trip here in Tenerife. Yeah. Living our yeah. best lives. I like how we've, we're at Tenerife now. We're not Tenerife. No, we were we're saying it wrong before. So we're doing a little sea crossing over to the next island. It's actually about 7.30 p.m., but the sun sets so late here that it still feels super, super bright and light outside. And before we get this boat kind of messy, I wanted to show you guys around and show you where we'll be staying for this whole week. So this boat is the African Queen. It's a gorgeous catamaran with African decor accents all around the boat and we all have our own cabin this is my little cabin right in this corner it's pretty great um, i've got a comfortable bed tons of storage space there's really beautiful art just hung everywhere also each have our own bathroom which is such a luxury on a boat so this is the bathroom We've got a toilet, a shower, a sink, and all of this organization space, which is so convenient when you're living on a boat. Maddie's cabin is just through that way. And then if you go through the other side of the boat, we have Leah's and Rose's cabin. And this is really cool. It's like a little peeping hole. You can see what the ocean is doing. So yeah, it's a beautifully designed catamaran. It's really spacious and just the perfect accommodations to explore the beautiful Canary Islands. I am here with Dream Sea Oceanus. I believe it's like a brand new way to experience the Spanish catamaran life if you guys are interested in booking it. It's always been a dream of mine to kind of sail around Spain and to be able to explore Tenerife in this way is so much fun. It's actually a full moon tonight, so we might even do a little full moon sailing, do a little whale watching. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys, maybe for sunset. Cooking dinner. Yeah. What are we making, Maddie? Okay, so we are making a pasta salad and charcuterie board. It's gonna be so Yeah, good. we're getting fancy. Having our own little stations, Rose is doing an incredible job over here with the charcuterie board. Charcuterie board. A work of art, honestly. DIY. That is incredible. 
little pasta salad in the works right now with some tuna. The boys are like doing the decor table yes. Pinterest setup. Yes. We're working on the food. Yeah. They are working on the decor and we'll show you guys the final results. Stay tuned. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, dinner is served. Got the ladies here behind me. We did a team effort dinner tonight. We have a tuna pasta salad, charcuterie board, some fresh veggies and hummus, and sangria. With which... ramen in it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Anyway, this is the feast for tonight, and it's such a beautiful evening. We're watching the sunset from the harbor. Just great vibes. More looking to the people, less impatient. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good morning from San Sebastian. We're gonna do a little road trip around the island and explore around. We just docked into this beautiful harbor. And we're gonna do some island inland explorations today. Yeah, we're having having forest day. Since we obviously are living on a boat, mm -hmm. we are gonna be having a lot of time on the water, so it'll be nice for little. I'm kind of excited experience. to get off the boat a little bit. Yeah, just yeah. walk around and explore. <laughs> it's my first time sleeping on a boat. I slept so well last night though. Yeah. I did too. Yeah. Bo just like rocked us to sleep. Yeah. Anyway, it's a beautiful morning and we're excited to explore. Let's go. Solo un rayo del sol cambia el tiempo en el reloj. Hoy mis deudas reciben perdón. Pago por el show. We're now in the forest. Crazy how much the landscape changes when you just drive like 10 minutes down the road. One part is all red rock, super dry. The next part, lush jungle. Hello guys, so we are currently docked in Tenerife right now and we are all getting ready to go out in town and get a lovely dinner and watch the sunset. So yeah. we're all going out to dinner tonight in Tenerife. It's our captain and we're gonna do a fit check. I'm gonna show your outfits. <laughs> Do you step up? Show your outfit. Going out yeah. into town. Yeah. That's about <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look how pretty this walk is. So nice. Ah. So gorgeous. We just did like a triathlon before this, so we're gonna eat so much. Yeah, we did a like long, long a workout way. earlier. I feel like I'm in so a now I'm ready for pasta and sangria. <laughs> Good morning guys, we just left the harbor. It is a beautiful day today. So excited to get out on the sea 
and show you guys around. Right now we're heading south along the coast of Tenerife Bay. Going to a new spot today, so really excited. We're just leaving Los Gigantes Harbor now. Goodbye. And we're off to sea. You can. Yes. Oh my my well, let me film you getting on. Which, oh wait! Yeah, no fucking way. <laughs> sorry, there guys. we go. Yes, why don't we? We've been like struggling the whole time. <laughs> We made it to the nude beach and Maddie is sussing it out with their binoculars. Oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> this beach is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to jump in. So this video is sponsored by Olukai, one of my favorite footwear brands that's influenced by Hawaiian culture. They're dedicated to delivering comfort and quality and I have been loving these shoes for such a long time. So Olukai is a certified B Corp company and they also have a foundation called Ama Olukai, honoring those who preserve and celebrate the cultural heritage of Hawaii. So I've been in Europe for the past couple weeks and I brought these two sandals with me. They have been my go-to for pretty much every activity that I've been doing. They're handcrafted with Hawaiian inspired details like these really cute sea turtles on the Honu sandals. They're so durable and supportive and they do not slip. So these have been my go-to for anything beach related. These are the Kipea Olu sandals and they are a beautiful boho design that blurs a line between relaxed and dressy. I've been wearing these for more dressier occasions like going out in town for dinner or just doing some sightseeing. I just love how comfortable they are and of course all of the tropical Hawaiian elements is such a dream and so on brand for my personal style. So go ahead and head over to the description section. I'll make sure to link all of the information for you to shop your summer sandals and you'll also get free shipping with my link. Now time to go explore this beautiful beach. Let's get in the water. <laughs> Ahora si sí te estoy tan solo no es fácil Te quiero baby hasta que nazca el sol Hasta que nazca el sol Dime Cuántas veces me volviste de mente Ahora si sí te estoy tan solo There's a bunch of caves carved into the mountain where hippies actually live full time So we're doing a little exploring right now down there is a nude beach, so yeah, definitely off the beaten track here at this beach. Today has just been the most gorgeous day out at sea, just exploring this beautiful beach that we're anchored at right now. We must have done like at least four ocean swims, just jumping from the boat to the beach and back. So it's been really fun. And I just took a shower, making some tea and gonna stir them with cookies for the group. So just keeping it really chill and nice. I feel like I got super tan and sun kissed just from this past day alone because we literally spent all day in the sun from like 6 a.m. today, so been the best day ever um, it's crazy to think that our week-long journey has come to an end this is the last day so sad because we didn't have the best weather and conditions most of our journey so we've had to do other things which has been fun 
but yeah not as much boat time as we were hoping for so today was such a treat because we finally got to really experience what it was like to be out at sea all day and just swim and lay out on the boat it's such a dream so yeah we're gonna be taking it easy until around golden hour sunset and then I think we'll have some wine, have some dinner, and then cruise back to the harbor to call it a day. So I guess I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Um, yeah, just gonna make the tea and chill. This is such an epic evening. We're all watching the sunset up on the second level of the catamaran, listening to some Spanish guitar. Yes. It is definitely a vibe up here. Definitely an amazing experience. Sailing into the sunset. Sailing into the sunset. And the views over here are pretty insane too. It's an epic evening. 